So we will have a coordinate axis this way, this way, and similarly we will be, we will be having an ellipse this way. So the equation is what? 9x square plus 16y square equals to 144. We will divide by 144. It will come out to be x square by 16 plus y square by 9 equals to 0. So from here we can find A equals to 4, B equals to 3. So this is what 4 comma 0 minus 4 comma 0. This is 0 comma 3. 0 comma minus 3. Now we are told about a line. A line is 3x plus 4y. So in this line, if we put x equals to 0, y is 3. And when we put y equals to 0, x is 4. So this is the line. 3x plus y by 4. We are told that the point P lies inside this. So for this, what will we do? We will first make a function f x comma y and we will bring it is one. Okay. We'll bring everything one everything one side. Now we'll put point zero comma zero, the center in this. Which then it is what minus one, which is less than zero. And now we'll put point zero comma zero. We'll make a function g x comma y. And we'll get it like this 3x plus 4y minus 12. We'll put 0, comma 0. It will be minus 12, which is less than 0. So what are we getting? If there is any point this side of the line as well as this, it will become negative. But the point lying this side. Point lying this side will be negative for ellipse but positive for the line. So for ellipse alpha comma three alpha will be negative but for line it will be positive. So let's so we'll proceed with that alpha comma three alpha f alpha comma three alpha is alpha square by sixteen plus nine alpha square by nine minus one should be less than zero. If we proceed further, it is seventeen by sixteen alpha square. Minus one less than zero. So if we come to know alpha will belongs to four by root seventeen minus four by root seventeen two plus four by root seventeen. And now we'll proceed with this G alpha plus theta. So we will have this equation. 
So this is what three alpha plus twelve alpha minus twelve bigger than zero. So alpha is bigger than four by five. So this is what four point something, and this is four upon four point something is near about one. So alpha belongs to we will take the intersection of both 4 by 5 to 4 by root 17. This is the answer.